Hi everyone, welcome to the Galaxy Sky and Galaxy Luna comparison video. I was going to do these separately, but I figured you might get more benefit by looking at these two galaxies side by side. Both of these are the latest phones from Straight Talk. There are some major differences that I'll get out of the way up front. The Galaxy Sky is a bigger phone, it has a better screen, and it has more onboard uh, memory for you to use, more storage space, I should say. Uh, the Galaxy Sky, easy way to remember, the sky is bigger than the Luna. Luna is Spanish for moon, so just think of the sky being a bigger phone and the Luna is just slightly smaller. Now, in terms of price, the Galaxy Luna is $140 and the Galaxy Sky is retailing for $170. So, this guy costs twice as much. And let's go ahead and talk about some of the differences that will help you determine which one of these two you rather have. Before we do that, let's talk about some of the similarities. So they both run Android 6.0.1. And believe it or not, they both have the same camera. So the rear camera is a 5 megapixel on both. And it's a 1.9 megapixel front facing camera also on both. As far as battery capacity goes, obviously the Galaxy Sky has a bigger battery, so it can actually go for 13 days standby and 25 hours talk time, where the Galaxy Luna can do 17 days standby and 18 hours of talk time. Now, as far as the screen goes, the Galaxy Sky has a Super Mold 5.0 LCD, where the Luna has a also a Super Mold 4.5 VGA. So this uh, Galaxy Sky has a high definition screen where the Galaxy Luna doesn't. Now the the difference in the screen is is negligible, but I'm gonna make a, I'll show you a video so you can see them side by side running the same exact video, uh, and then you can decide from there if you're willing to pay twice as much for the Galaxy Sky. Now, if we put both of these side by side, you can't even tell the difference or what they are because they're constructed almost identically. And with a few exceptions, uh, as far as the size go, you know, that half an inch difference that you're getting on the sky, they're, they're pretty much the exact phone. What they like to do, obviously, is they, they like to give you choices and... This is the better, obviously, of the two, but the Luna doesn't stand too far behind. So they both run the same Android. They both exact have the exact processing speed of 1.9 gigahertz. And as far as the dimensions go, they are the same in terms of width. And again, the only difference that you that you get from the two is in in the length, which is just slightly more. The sky obviously is uh, slightly more than the Luna. All right, so I'm gonna take this thing out. By the way, the Galaxy Sky, the Super Mold HD screen, according to Samsung, what that does is it reflects about one fifth less light. So if you're out in the sun, the super mold screen is supposed to be is supposed to be better at not giving you that glare. All right, so this is the Galaxy Sky. Let's look at the back because I know a lot of people are interested in in the back. Now this one has a the, the Sky has a shiny back, and I'm not sure if it's because of the this plastic that comes along. So I'm going to take out the plastic and see if okay. So. In, in fact, it was shiny because of the plastic. They both have sort of a matte finish back. They both have a external speaker and obviously the camera with the flash. So there's not a lot of difference there. Charging port also at the bottom with your mic. Not a lot of difference there. Now let's open these guys up. Let's take a look at what's in the on the inside. There's a notch, if I could find it, it's right here on this one. 
and it's very easy to take out. It's a it's a it's a thin plate. This thing doesn't look like it's gonna break. And I kind of like the fact that it's very flexible. Now here's your battery. The battery has on the Luna a 2050 milliamp battery. Whereas the Sky obviously has a better performing battery. Is going to have a bigger, stronger battery. This is a 2600 milliamp battery, which gives you the longer standby and longer talk time. Now, one notable difference on the Sky is the fact that it has a built in SIM and micro SD card holder. Whereas the Luna, the external micro SD card is there. But to put in your SIM, you actually have to remove the battery, and there it is. So, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a bit of a difference there, and it's a convenience between the two, but it's not major. All right, so let's, let's put these back on there. You'll see it's very easy to just put them back on there. They snap back into place. Very simple. So you won't have any issues with getting the installing your SD card and whatnot. All right, so upon power up, they have the Samsung startup screen followed by a track phone logo, which you know, Straight Talk is owned by TrackPhone, so you have this TrackPhone logo at the startup. So what I want to do is just show you real quick uh, one of the main differences, which is the the screen. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show you a video on both of them. Now, keep in mind that you're looking at this through another uh, device, so you're not going to get the exact... quality, but I think you'll be able to see some of the differences. Also, you'll be able to hear the audio where I've already done some testing on my own. Obviously, the Galaxy Sky has a light, a slightly louder A slightly louder speaker. So this is the this is the Luna. And this is what the sky looks like. Now I'm going to lower the volume on both of them and I'm just going to play the video so you can see how they how they fare next to each other. All right, so the difference is is there, but it's not a major difference. Obviously, the Luna is not as crisp as the Galaxy Sky. And again, you're paying twice as much, so you expect to get some hardware differences. And, and those are just some of the hardware differences. Another hardware difference is the fact that they both have proximity sensors, but they do not have ambient sensor. What that means is the this sort of ability to 
get the phone to adjust the, the light is not there. What they do have is an option where you can do an outdoor, which takes it to the brightest setting and, and not. And then you can manually adjust your brightness. So for those of you that are wondering, neither of these have the ambient light sensor and you have to manually adjust your, your screen brightness. The ambient light sensor is always nice because it auto adjusts and it can save a great deal of battery for you. Anyway, so in summation, the Galaxy Sky is a bigger device, bigger phone. It costs twice as much as the Galaxy Luna. Uh, overall, it is a better phone, but like I said, the differences are negligible. They're not major, and it, it kind of comes down to whether you want a bigger phone in your hand, in your pocket, because ultimately these are very similar devices.